If you want to make a statement, you need to do it through powerful design. In this video, we're going to break down five motion graphics that you can use to make your After Effects projects absolutely breathtaking. We have a lot of great techniques here in this one, and um, I'm making a gallant effort to move away from utilizing circles in my design. So let's start off by creating this easy rotating text that happens to be a circular animation. I said gallant effort. Okay, what you want to do is type out your text. However, one simple text layer is just too basic for what we're teaching here. So what I would like to do is make the composition at least have a width of 4,000. Then we can go in here and add more text layers and even objects in this long banner format. If you want to have just one line of text, that is also fine. But if you want to have a more creative design, think about variating the size of the text. But most importantly, make sure your final design stretches the entire width of the composition. When you're ready, you can just import this bad boy into a regular 1920 by 1080 composition. Now, what we need to do from here is apply the CC cylinder effect to the banner composition. We can then go into the rotation and offset these values to angle this and even animate, say, the rotation Y to get that circular animation. And I would recommend going into the shading and increasing the ambient to essentially remove uh, that lighting effect. What's really cool about this design is that if we have an object with a transparent background, uh, we can make the text revolve around that object. All you need to do is set the render to outside, duplicate the layer, and then set the render to inside. Then just layer it all accordingly. And I must say, that's a pretty powerful design. Next up, let's create this pulsating design, and it's actually very fast to create. Uh, just type out a title with fill and stroke enabled, and all you need to do is go to animate, add fill color. Set the fill to white or any color that you like, and then add a keyframe. Move forward by a few frames and add another keyframe. Then move forward by exactly one frame and set the color to the same color as your background. Then move forward by a half a second and add one final keyframe. Then we can all get the stopwatch and add the loop out expression just like this, and this will loop the animation. Now we can then duplicate this layer, move the title down, and offset it in time by three or so frames. And continue this process until you have this layout. And now we have another technique for the bag. And it happens to not be a circle either, so that's good. Uh, one thing I love doing in my projects is experimenting with extra details. Uh, these unique burst graphics you see here are very easy to create and fun to see how they affect your project. So for example, you can use the rectangle tool to draw out a shape. Uh, we can add plucker and bloat and then we, of course we can go in there and adjust uh, the amount. Then you can go into the transform drop down and animate the scale from 0% to 100%. And once that's ready, you can duplicate the shape and offset the bottom keyframes uh, and go back to add and select merge paths you can set the mode to subtract. Now you have an excuse to finally use plucker and bloat. And as you can see, you can then duplicate and add other small graphics to enhance your project. Speaking of enhancing your project, I just wanted to mention that we have a 100 free template pack that you should absolutely get your hands on for After Effects. And if you ever need to save time, we have over 35,000 templates to help you produce amazing work with the link below. All right, next up, we can talk about creating repeated text outlines. Uh, with your text selected, uh, you can use any masking tool to create the path that you want your text to follow. When the mask is ready, set the path to that mask. Then navigate to first margin and add the time asterisk 50 expression by alt clicking the stopwatch. Uh, from here, uh, we can go and add the echo effect and please hold control on your keyboard to slightly adjust the echo time to offset the duplicate. Then just increase the number of echoes and boom, repeated text slash graphic animations in a moment's notice. Uh, in this example, you may have noticed uh, that we have a grid sphere graphic or just a, a circle. Gallant effort, I said. Well, to create this, go to layer and create a new solid and then make sure that solid is 1080 by 1080. Uh, from here, we can go ahead and add the grid effect. And of course that CC sphere effect. What we wanna do is set the blending mode to normal set this to width and height sliders, and adjust these basic design controls to get the look that we want. Finally, we can animate the anchor to move that grid, uh, and then with the sphere effect, we can adjust the rotation values and increase the ambient uh, to make it all uh, one single color. 
And one last thing, uh, right click the layer, go to layer styles and add stroke. And of course, change the color, uh, the size, and now you have another detailed graphic for your projects. As a bonus tip, I will leave you with textures that you can use for your projects, uh, like this bag here, uh, which you can throw down into your project and add just a new level of design. You can get a few of these for free with the link below. Also, I've used several pre-made assets and removed their backgrounds with the keying effects throughout this video. I even somehow managed to get a planet animation, which happens to be a circle. Anyway, always be creating.